What's up guys? Welcome to this week's cash envelope stuffing video. My name is Brianna and I do these videos every single week. So if you're new here and this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, I hope you enjoy it and you can always come back and catch new cash envelope stuffings every Thursday. And I also have a big playlist of my previous cash stuffing. So they're kind of like watching a, like a TV show series. Sometimes you will have questions that might have been answered in a previous video, kind of little get the gist of what's going on. Just a little bit of background on me. I am 29 years old. I am not married. I do not have kids. So my budget does look a little bit different than some other people that you may have seen on here. But I mean, I like it that way. And we are just gonna go ahead and jump into the stuffing now. We are gonna be stuffing $365. And we are gonna start off with car care, which is gonna be getting 10. I did get my oil changed last week and that was $86. So I am now left with 100, 120, 140, 150, 160. And then I also have some ones right here that I'm gonna set to the side. Alrighty, so what did I say? 100, 120, 140, 150, and 160 in car care. And so I am not due for another service for another 5,000 miles. So that is awesome. And I already have the money ready for it, so that's good. Food is going to be getting $40, and I do have 10 left over from last time, so that's nice. I'm going to do two 20s, and now we now have 50 in food. And then lastly, and this one is fun, which is going to be getting $30. And it's actually not lastly because I do have one more. <laughs> thing that I need to put money in, but we have 30 in fun. And then now lastly is spending, which is gonna be getting 20. And that just goes right here. Cause that's like my everyday spending money. I usually spend it on energy drinks. In case you were curious where my spending money goes, it's usually going to the gas station, if I'm being honest. I don't have any coins for the coin jar this week. That's okay. I'll just try again next week. And then moving over to sinking funds. Brianna Budgets is going to be getting skipped this week, but there is 20 in there. Miss Candy, who is my dog, is going to be getting $5. She is the, the cutest thing. She's the mascot on this channel, and everybody loves her. I mean, she really is like the cutest thing in the entire world. So she is at 100, 200, 300, 320, 330, 340, 345, and 350 in her envelope, which is awesome. That is really good. Christmas is going to be getting $20. And I believe I hit 400 last week, which is cool. So we should have 420 if I remember correctly. These two are prop money because the real money is in a savings account. So that's why it says copy money right here, but the rest of this is all real cash. So we're at 100, 200, 300, 320, 340, 360, 380, 400, and 20. So I was correct. I can't believe we're getting close to halfway through with the year. I don't know how that's even physically possible, but I don't know we're like going through may pretty quickly already and after that it's going to be the middle of the year so yeah i should probably start getting a list ready for like things that i'm going to get for people for christmas that's what made me think about that <laughs> clothing is going to be getting skipped and it looks like there's 20 dollars in there gifts is going to be getting 20 dollars, and i do have some ones in here as well so i'm going to set those over to the side and then we now have 25 in gifts. I told you guys that I got uh, my sister, my nephew, and my mom all gifts for birthdays and Mother's Day. But the gift that I ordered for my mom came in the mail and it looked terrible. It's like a handmade plant pot thing and it just looks terrible. So I emailed the people and I'm getting a refund. So I'm now having to buy a, another gift for my mom which is not ideal, but I am getting a refund for that, so that's good. But I'll probably, I don't know, I'll probably end up putting it in here, but I don't know. What are you getting your moms for Mother's Day? Or if you are a mom, what would you like to get? I am curious to know. 
health is not getting anything, but I will count it just for fun. So we are at 500, 20, 30, and 40. So 540 in health. 500 of that is in the bank, obviously. And then home is also getting skipped, but I'll go ahead and count that too. So 20, 40, 60, and 70, which isn't bad. I do want to get a new shower curtain liner, but it's not in like an emergency or anything, so I might wait a week or two for that. It's only like $5, so I mean, it's not a huge deal, but alrighty. This is where the fun is going to come in. We are putting 200 in land, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit scratchy. I've been having a bit of a cough lately and it's just making my voice sound not a hoarse, but just like a little bit not normal. <laughs> so if you're noticing that, that is why. And let's see how much is in land. I am so excited. It should be $800 and I'm going to make that payment today. I know it's not due until the 16th, but I am just way too excited. I cannot wait any longer. I want to see the balance go down. So this should be 800 and let's see. 100, 200, 220, 20, 40, 60, 88. So we have $800 that I am going to put toward the land payment this week. And I am, I literally can't even put into words how excited I am. So we are gonna set that over to the side so I can take that to the bank. And then we'll be starting over. Um, for anyone who might, may not know, I bought an acre of land in 2021 and I am working on getting that paid off. As of right this second, the balance is 12,550, but uh, I have like $35 in interest to add to that. And then, you know, subtract 800 from that. So I will update you guys next week on what the balance is, but very excited. The minimum payment is 223. So 800 is just amazing. I am seriously so proud of myself. Not to like toot my own horn or anything, but toot toot because honestly, I'm kind of killing it. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Self-care is completely empty because I had to get new foundation and a new eyebrow pencil. Each of those were $10, so I took that $20 bill out and I'm gonna replace it with another 20. I don't know, I'm now zero, I'm $20 ahead of or i have like 20 dollars saved up for my next hair appointment which is 100 and i need 130 for my next hair appointment so i need to stop spending out of here but i needed my cosmetics those of you who don't wear makeup are awesome but me i gotta have it travel is getting skipped this week but i will go ahead and count it so we're at 100 120 140 160 180 oh, that's a bummer I was wanting to get to 200, but that's okay. I'm not mad at 180. All right, that is that. And then I have quite a few ones for the dollar jars. So that's exciting. I have all of these. I'm not gonna count, but I'm just gonna fold these up and put them in here. And that is what the dollar jar is currently looking like. And I will be counting that soon for anyone who wants to see. Um, but if you don't want to spoil the surprise at the end of the year to see how much we saved overall, um, you can just skip that video when it comes out. But very excited to see how much is in there because I literally have zero idea. I have no idea. All right, guys, that is a wrap on this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. If, if you're new and you enjoyed the video, I hope that you consider subscribing if you haven't already. My goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers and I'm not far from that. I'm about... I don't know, 900 and something away. So I would appreciate if you would do that. And I will be back here with another cash envelope stuffing video next Thursday. So I hope to see you then. You guys have a great rest of your week and a great weekend. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Dolce and Gabbana, Fendi and Adana, Karen, they be sharing all their money. Got
got me wearing fly. Girl, but I ain't asking. They say they love my ass and seven jeans to religion. I